Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser with Litigation Support Guru. Today's fast tip is how to add an embedded index to a very large PDF so that your searching across the document uh, will search faster. So this is an example of a document that has 1700 pages. I just pulled together a bunch of um, large PDFs to get the page count. Um, so first of all, I want to show you that I'm using uh, Adobe Acrobat 11 uh, in case uh, you have a different version, things might be in a different place. Second thing is I want to remind you that you should probably make a copy of the document like I've done here because um, you probably don't want to add this index uh, to your copy that you got from you know, the client or whoever, wherever you got it from, you want that copy to stay pristine. So make a copy before you add the index. All right, so we're gonna go to uh, Tools, and then uh, we're looking for a section called Document Processing, and it's not there by default. Um, so we're gonna click on this little icon right here, and then we're gonna add Document Processing. So there's a bunch of good stuff in here. And at the bottom is Manage Embedded uh, Index. So it will tell you whether or not the document has an em embedded index already. And if it doesn't, um, you can click right here. And it will start building the index. It doesn't take too long. Um, but while that's running, I want to remind you that you can, at any point, you can come in here and either remove the index or um, if you add pages to your PDF, you can come in here and update your index. Okay, it's not taking too long. Certainly faster than OCRing a document of this size. By the by, the way, this document uh, has already been OCR'd. Obviously, you can't search a document without it being OCR'd. Okay, so we're going to click OK, and then uh, if you do Control F or you know regular Find, it's just going to find each instance one at a time and uh, present the document to you. And I don't like um, that, so I'll show you what that looks like. So you do control F and you put in a word and then it just basically gives you the ability to go next, next, next. I would rather end up with a list because I'm a database person, so I like to have all the results in front of me. So I'm gonna close that. So we wanna go to edit, advanced search, and here's the keystroke for that. All right, so once we're in advanced search, we want to search in the current document and I'm going to search for a word. All right, so it found seven instances. And the thing I like about advanced search is that you could just click on each one and, and go back to them easily, which you can't do if you're doing a regular find and clicking on next. Okay, so I'm going to close that and I'm going to go back over here to manage embedded index. And then I'm going to remove the index, which is pretty easy to do. And then I'm going to save it. So now it's the version without the index. I'm going to click on that again so it doesn't have an index. And then I want to show you what it looks like to search. I'm going to go back to the beginning to search without the index. So I'm going to do advanced search. There's my search term still in there. So I'm going to click search and watch how it, see how it's going through the pages. Whereas in the first instance, it didn't need to do that. It had an index already. So it was much easier um, to find the results. It still finds seven hits, but it takes this much longer to do it. Okay. All right. I hope you can put this to good use.